Hey guys, welcome back, welcome to my channel, I'm Morgan, and today is going to be such a fun video. I'm literally spending the night at my sister's college tonight. I'm so excited. So basically this works out perfect. Right now I'm putting in the laundry, by the way, because I just realized like I'm not going to be home all weekend, and I need things for this weekend, kind of, but also on Monday I have my uniform return day and I also have some like things to go to and I just need my clothes to be clean but this weekend works out perfect because first of all I was supposed to go next weekend to family day at her college but I can't go anymore because I have work and like I could take off but like not really like I requested time off but that day they're super busy at my work and they said like they're not gonna approve anyone's request obviously if i have like a dire emergency or something like they can't force me to go but i don't really need to be at family day so i'm gonna work i'm just gonna go this weekend instead it's gonna be even better because family day would have just been for one day for a couple hours but now i get to go for the whole night and the whole weekend and second of all my sister had to come home anyways on sunday because we have a funeral to go to Monday. That's one of the things I was just saying. So she has to come home anyways for that. She was going to come home anyway Sunday. So now I'm just going to come home with her Sunday. And then, oh, also her roommate isn't there this weekend. She's at her family. Like, she's back home. So it's just going to be my sister and I in her dorm room, which is like so much less awkward. Like, I just, I feel like it would have been awkward if her roommate was in there. Not that, I'm sure she's a very nice girl. I just feel like it'd be better if it was just my sister and I. I feel like it'd be like more awkward for the roommate even too. So like, I just, I wouldn't want to intrude on all that. I usually work on Sundays with my mom, but because we just lost someone close to us, my mom's not working for this whole weekend and this whole week and everything. She's like taking a week off. So neither of us are working on Sunday. So I don't have, even have to go to work. So it's like perfect. It literally is perfect this weekend. So we're leaving today around 10, 10, or I think 10, 30, 11. My uncle and my mom are going to take me and I'm so excited. I need to put the laundry in though. Cause like I have so much laundry and it needs to be clean because it's currently like almost eight o'clock. So I'm going to be a little bit rushing this morning. I haven't packed a single thing because we literally planned this last minute like last night it got confirmed so i haven't even packed so i have a lot to do but monday i have my grandmom's funeral and then i also have my tennis banquet like immediately after that so it's gonna be a very busy day but i'm not going to school there's no point the funeral's at like 11 or something so i would literally have to leave like my school starts at 9 45 so there's no point in going for like an hour i wouldn't even be able to go for an hour because i need to like get ready for the funeral so i'm just not going to school okay i need to start this laundry that is my plan of action for this weekend i'm so excited i'm gonna make some breakfast i literally am not gonna be able to cook a meal for myself until tuesday actually that's not true besides breakfast so i get to eat breakfast today at home and then at my sister's college i'm having lunch and dinner today and then tomorrow i'm having breakfast lunch and dinner because i'm not coming home till like seven tomorrow and then monday i get to make breakfast but then I have the funeral luncheon and then I have my tennis banquet dinner. So I'm literally not gonna make like lunch and dinner until Tuesday, which is crazy. Like I usually cook every single day for myself. Well, not every day, but like most days. It's gonna be weird but not even having to like do any. I'm so scared though for my sister's dining hall. I'm so scared because she says every time she eats, she gets like such a bad stomach ache. I don't do stomach aches. Like if I get stomach aches, I'm going to be really upset. Especially like when I get stomach aches from eating something, like it scares me. So I'm a little nervous. It's going to get me used to the college experience. So I think it's, I think it's going to be good for me. Thankfully, I'm only not going to make breakfast at home for one day because like breakfast is like my favorite. So at least I'm not missing too many breakfasts at home. I'm obviously still gonna eat breakfast, you know what I mean. My sister said she usually doesn't even eat breakfast. Like, I'm gonna drag her to the dining hall because I need breakfast. Also said they have like no fruit, like no berries, anything like that, which I understand because that's pretty expensive. So I'm going to savor these this morning.
guys. I'm here. Um, yeah, it is a mess in there. It's just crowded. I look so rough. No, you don't. We're going to the dining hall. Wish me luck. Okay, we just ate. It wasn't bad. We're gonna go to the library and be productive. I'm so bored this weekend if you didn't come today. Like right now I just feel like so cool. We just went to the library. I got absolutely nothing done. That's okay. We're gonna go to the dining hall again for dinner, which I'm kind of dreading and I really don't want to, but we're going at six. But right now we're gonna go walk to Main Street and go to the bookshop because she needs to get a book and I might buy something. So I met some of her friends. We were hanging out in their dorm and now I'm going to do something. I don't know. It's five o'clock. We're going to dinner at six. We didn't end up going to the bookstore we're gonna go tomorrow. And yeah, I'm looking at college application stuff right now. I'm stressed. Hey guys, we just had dinner and dessert. I had another salad because like, I didn't really like anything, but I switched it up a little bit and I had fries instead of rice. Minor changes, but I don't know what we're doing right now. I think we're gonna go play Uno with our friends. My sister's in the shower. So I'm reading. We're already fighting. The jury's like, we'll find out live when the dummy Freeze dried and gummy the worm. Like, no, bite the whole thing. Yeah. No! Yes, you have I, to do it that way. But That's then they can't. I want to see what it looks like the on the inside. The or Why? Keep them in place. Just Why can't I bite dark. it like this? It's more fun when you bite the whole thing at once. Why? It's not time for the power of 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 it tastes the, just like a fruit by the foot. It's like this little baby cup. Oh, I have a gift for you. I meant to like mail this to you while I go in a shop. Oh, wait. Isn't this on our fridge? Yeah. This but exact one? No, it's different, but it's similar. It says the same thing. But it's a different photo. I okay. shouldn't have left that on it, but. It's good it. to have friends. That's so cute, and you can put it in your mini fridge. Perfect. I will be sleeping on the floor. Sleepover. This is so fun. Don't you just wish I was sleeping here every night? Turn the whole thing upside down. I wish I had someone to do that for me. It's so loud in here. There's a million fans because it's like they don't have air conditioning. I feel like it was colder in that other room. Can you do this? Something's going on over there. Oh, it's so bright. Good night. This is gonna break my back. sister's awake she just went to the bathroom to get ready and i actually slept pretty well on the floor it wasn't that bad it's like nine o'clock right now i woke up around seven i think and i've just been reading so yeah but today we're going to a soccer game and we're probably gonna go to the bookstore because we're gonna go out to lunch near the bookstore there's like this whole strip of stores and restaurants and then 
we're probably gonna go to breakfast in a little at the dining hall and I'm excited. We're going home today around 7. I don't know if I already told you guys that. I'm already ready to go home. Which concerns me a little bit for when I go away to college because I'm like so ready to go home. But yeah, that's all. We're playing tennis. It's a little wet, but it's okay. Currently sitting in our room. We went to the soccer game. It was really fun, but it, there was like a fight kind of thing. It was kind of a mess, but it kind of made it more entertaining. And then we got dinner and now I've just been sitting in her room by myself because I just want to go home. <laughs> and my mom's going to be here in like 15 minutes, but I'm just tired. I don't feel like talking with everyone because like, I don't really know what's going on. So Paige is with all her friends and I've just been doing school stuff. My mom will be here very soon. This is literally the best moment of my life. Like, I don't know how I'm gonna go away to college. Like, I haven't watched YouTube in like a day, but it feels like it's been like 500 years. Like, that felt like the longest weekend of my life. I'm not even kidding. I also don't know what's on my face. I feel like this video sucked, like really bad, but I'm sorry. That was my college experience. Overall, I'd rate it a seven out of 10, maybe a six. Just because like, I didn't really know anyone. Like, I just felt like I wasn't wanted. Not that I didn't feel welcomed. I felt very welcomed. I feel like my sister didn't want me there. Even though she probably did, I just felt like, I felt out of place. Because like everyone's friends and I'm just like, there's all this drama and all this tea and everything. And I'm just like out of the loop. And I just want to be alone sometimes. I'm gonna watch YouTube right now. Yeah. Peace out Girl Scouts.